OK, the first Barvember question for 2019. Donna sells cups of tea and coffee. On Monday, she sells 218 cups in total. So that's coffee and tea together. We don't know how many coffee. We don't know how many tea. On Tuesday, she sells 48 fewer cups of tea, but 75% more cups of coffee. She sells 287 cups of tea and coffee in total. So for both days, we're given a total, but we're given a little bit more information on Tuesday. Now, ultimately, we're comparing. OK, we've got something. We've got Monday and we've got Tuesday. So I'm going to um, draw bars to represent Monday and Tuesday and compare them. OK, so right, let's get going. And so, right, actually, that's not a good start. There we go. Right, so Monday and Tuesday. And it might help if I use different colours. So, right, I'm going to draw then. This is, I'm going to start with the T, and this is going to represent the T that was sold on Monday. Um, it's an arbitrary size. The fact that there's three squares in here is not relevant. OK, it's just I've got to draw something. Now I'm going to draw something for Tuesday. Now, what I'm going to do is going to first draw a bar that's the same size. Now, we know first that that's wrong. Why is that wrong? Because she sells 48 fewer cups of tea on Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is going to draw a line in here. OK, it, again, as the size of this was arbitrary, so is where I've put this. I'm going to shade this. OK, and then this is going to be, this is the 48 fewer cups of tea that were sold on Tuesday. OK, these weren't sold on Tuesday. OK, so 48 more on Monday. These didn't exist on Tuesday. OK, I hope you've understood that. Right, so we've got now got the, we've got the tea and now I want to do the coffee. OK. Um, right, let's pick that one. Now, what do we know about the coffee? On Tuesday, she sells 75% more cups of coffee. 75% is three quarters. OK, so we know we're dealing in quarters. It's always useful when you're doing bar models, if when we've got fractions that they're um, nice to draw. So what I'm going to do is for Monday, I'm going to draw a hole that's divided into quarters. Now, the relative size of the coffee compared to the tea is, is not relevant here. I'm not, I'm just drawing this now. This is quarters. This is the whole amount of coffee that was sold on Monday. And Tuesday, we sold the same amount of coffee plus 75%, which is three quarters. So that's three more of these. OK. All right, this is the plus 75 per cent. OK, right, let's put some numbers in then. We've got, we know that Monday was 218 in total. OK, Tuesday, I'm told that it was 287 cups of tea and coffee in total. OK, so this, ignore that, plus all of this part is 287. But in my diagram, I've included this 48, OK, in this bar here. So I'm going to put that in here. So 287 plus 48, OK, which gives me... 335. That's this model here. OK. And the reason I've done that is because I can then focus in on this difference here. All right. This makes this difference. If I had sort of added that in at the end or, or done something, it wouldn't have been so easy to see. But doing it this way means I can now look at this difference because we've got 335 here and 218 here, okay? And the difference here 
must be the difference between these two. So 335 subtract 218 gives us 117. OK, and hopefully you can see because that these are equal size portions is that this was a fraction. These three parts are equal. So if I divide 117 by 3, I will find out what each of these is worth. And 117 divided by 3 is 39. So each of these blocks is worth 39. OK, if these are all 39, so are these. 39, 39, 39. OK as are these. Everything is 39. Now let's go back to the question. What are we asked? How many cups of tea? So this is this is the, the question. I should have put that there. That's what we want to know. How many cups of tea were sold on Monday? Well, I need to subtract this from this total. So 39, okay, times 4, all right, 39 times 4 is going to give us the total amount of coffee that was sold on Monday, okay, and 39 times 4 is 156, okay, 218 subtract 156 gives us 62. So this amount, the T, is 62, 62 cups of tea. Okay, I hope that helps.